Well, we've got our main backbone frame, chassis, whatever you want to call it, together. We've got the main backbone, we've got the battery cutout, we've got the front axle, got the rear axle housing, trailing arms, and the motor mount plate. So with just the main frame here, we don't have the uh, operator compartment on yet or the front suspension stuff like the spindles and tie rods and steering shafts stuff like that but as of right now we are at it looks to be about 31 30 about 32 pounds so so far our backbone chassis is at about 32 pounds working on the frame a bit more here got the motor mount all welded down good and solid everything else is pretty solid work my way forward the next thing would be the cockpit I guess you would call it but here's what I have what I have in mind for the cockpit we'll have the roll bar seat back Floor, I guess you would call it and then the steering support and like an overall picture this would be the top of the seat back coming down to the floor on each side and coming up to where the steering support would be but this all adds up to about 12 foot and when you get over 10 foot or when you start working with pieces of pipe or metal over 10 foot it starts to get kind of difficult so come up with a couple other ideas plan B would be to use two pieces one would be about an 8 foot piece that would consist of the roll bar seat back and half of the floor and then about a 4 foot piece that will consist of the rest of the floor and the steering support and just connect them weld them together here at the floor or another way we could do it would be uh, one 10 foot piece would pretty much be the roll bar seat back the whole floor and come up about half the three-fourths of the way for the steering support then we just need to use a loop cap I guess you would call it to um, cap off the two ends of the pipe and bring her back together something kind of like that so like I said the floor itself is about 16 inches this will give us about 20 inches from the middle of the steering to your chest area that's usually about right on most of the carts so just as a quick mock-up I got a piece of pipe here coming up and we the motor is adjusted all the way forward we still got about an inch or so so that's about as far back as we can go with our seat back and then 16 inches forward would bring us right up to about where our crossbar is between the bar battery boxes and this is where our uh, steering support will come up so our roll bar would come down here and seat back come along the frame and then come up and then we'd cap it off with the bent piece of pipe cap over here So I'm going to have to get some pipe, water pipe, and break out the bender and do some measuring and some bending.